Praise the Lord. God bless you. This is Samuel E. Molombe. If you're seeing me for the very first time, I want to teach you how to study your Bible to produce unusual results. Let me start by saying all the things that you will ever need in your life, they are already in the Word of God. I want you to look at the Bible as a personalized letter from God to you. I have a little tradition. Whenever I buy a new Bible, I write at the front page from God to Samuel. You know why? Because it is his word personally sent from heaven to me. You see, I look at the Bible as God seeing the challenges that I would have in my life and he decides to address it in a letter. I look at the Bible as a manual for life and for godliness. You know, the Bible says that God had given us all things that we need for life and godliness. Guess where they are? They are in here. Yes, they are in the Bible. The word of the Lord is sweet. The Bible says that God gave the scroll to Ezekiel and says, take it. He says, when I ate it, it was as sweet as the honeycomb. Right now, you are going through something that God has probably addressed in the Bible. The problem is you do not know it. How can you study your Bible effectively to get out what is written therein? First of all, there are two things that are contained in the Bible. They are the letters. What you see right now on your screen. I'm sure you probably see letters. But also, there is something beyond the letters. The letters are called the logos. But beyond the logos, there is something called the rema. Rema is God's interpretation to the logos. God's interpretation. Rema is the word for you from the general words that are in the Bible. Now, let me say this again. Every chapter contains a secret word for you. That's what is called the rema of God's word. It's the rema word that sets you on your feet. One day I was studying my Bible and all of a sudden my eyes were open to something that God will bring to pass the actions that are propelled, that are initiated by my faith. Now, I've gone through my Bible several times. As a matter of fact, I personally have it as a habit to go through my Bible once every 40 days. I read 45 to 47 chapters a day, depending on how busy I am on that day. And I've held that schedule for many, many years. And I'm telling you, that habit is what has produced this man of God that you see before this camera. Friend, you can literally change your life by spending a little more time on the Bible. So I said, the Bible has the logos, which are the letters, and the secret message from God to you only, which is called the Rema Word. I want to teach you how to get the Rema Word out of the logos. If you are interested in this, keep watching to the end because in the end, I show you three major systematic ways to study the Bible that you can actually complete your Bible in less than no time. Listen to me. Every Christianity that is a way separate from the Word is a superficial Christianity. Nobody can know God for you. Can I say that again to you? Nobody can know God for you for you. The Bible says the people that are strong, the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Those that do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. How do you know God? It's through what he has said. The only way to know God is through his word. When you get to listen to what a man says, you will get to know who that person is. So, there are several ways to go through your Bible and there are people who read the Bible like just a novel. There are people who look at it like, hey, it looks like it's too big. Some people just take it and they're confused. They don't know where to start. They don't know from whence to start, what to do. 
I'm about to help you break that process so that you will know effectively where to start. First of all, the, you can study the Bible in three major ways. Number one, you can study the Bible topically. You can study the Bible topically. Now, what does it mean to study the Bible topically? It means that you select a topic and you search what the Bible talks about. In, I mean, what, what is the view of the Bible concerning that topic? For instance, you take the topic of finances, prosperity, and you want to really know what does the Bible say about prosperity? How does the Bible say prosperity comes? And you begin to study. You go now, it's even easier. You pick up your mobile phone and you, you know, write on Google scriptures on prosperity. And you're gonna have tons of those scriptures. You begin to go through them one after the other, and you just see if anything speaks to you. Now, remember words are gotten when something catches your spiritual attention. Now, while you are sitting in front of your Bible after praying and you open it to read, notice that. Your mind doesn't understand it. Your brain is unfruitful. Now you read the Bible with your spirit. So your spirit is alert. Anything that catches your attention at that time is a rhema word from God to you. So as you're studying about prosperity, you will come across certain words that just strike you. They just have a different way that they just strike your spirit. That's God talking to you right there. You jot it down. You write it somewhere. You highlight it. Or you just, you know, you just, you just keep it somewhere and come back to it later. Or just go deeper and look at it on other translations and, and, and anything. So the first way to study your Bible is topically. And you can look at prosperity. You can look at healing, divine health. Or you can look at marriage. Whatever the topic that you are maybe going through, maybe anger. You want to know what the Lord says about anger or maybe adultery. If you just look up that right there. The second way you can study your Bible is through biblical characters. Biblical characters. So you've been hearing about the man Abraham and then you just click all scriptures about Abraham. And the story of Abraham is going to come out there. You see the way from whence God started talking about him in the scriptures up until when it ended. And you just digest it to see what was so unique about this man called Abraham. Or maybe you can take the character Esther. You can take the character Mordecai. You can take the whatever biblical character that strikes you that you just you just like the way you know his story goes. You can go down and read the scriptures to know what made his life that unique and amazing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the, the other way to study your Bible is through biblical books. You can start to read Genesis or you can start to read uh, Isaiah. You can start to read Romans. You can just take a book and you trash it. Or still in that same system, you can read it chronologically from Genesis to, through to Revelation. That's what a lot of people try to do. But well, I always advise people to do it differently. At every point in time, certain books might just come to your spirit. Pick up those books and trash it. Or sometimes you can pick up the books that have fewer chapters and just read them through several times. It's going to give you the momentum to read on. And you just go ahead and do that. Now, I'll give you a formula for success in life. Make sure you have read the Bible through times the number of your age. Make sure you've read the Bible through times the number of your age. So if you're if you are 65 years old and you've never gone through the Bible once, you have a lot of work to do. You must read the Bible 65 times. Read the Bible through by the number of your age. I'm telling you, you are going to see mysteries in the world that will change your life forever. I'll give you another tip. The book of Proverbs is one of the most powerful books in the Bible. And guess what? God made it so that Proverbs has 31 chapters. Can you imagine that? Yes, Proverbs has 
31 chapters. One chapter for every day. Now, no matter what you read in the Bible, make sure you read one chapter of Proverbs for every day. I commend you to the Word and to, to the Lord and to the Word of His grace that is able to build you and give you an inheritance among the saints. That's what the Bible says. I commend you to the Lord and to the Word of His grace. The Word of His grace is the Bible. It says that is able to build you and to give you an inheritance amongst the saints. Hallelujah. When you study the Bible, maybe you're reading any book, maybe you're reading the topic or you're going through characters, finish it or, you know, like wash it down with one chapter of Proverbs. It's going to, you know, feed you with the necessary wisdom that you need. Before I let you go, I consider reading the Bible like taking food because the bible is actually food for your spirit so i consider it like food whatever you eat as the main or the uh, uh, sorry the starter or the main make sure you go to proverbs as your dessert hallelujah just read one book of proverbs and psalms has many amazing prayers prayers for when you are running through some difficulties prayers for when enemies are surrounding you Prayers for when you are happy, you are excited. Prayers for when you are depressed. You can just go through the Psalms and just pray those prayers. It's just amazing. Let me tell you something. Your spiritual life will revolutionize when you begin to put more value on the Word of God. Don't read the Bible only on Sundays or when somebody tells you to open it. Make it a habit to read at least at least five chapters of the Bible every day. Or maybe if you're too busy, one chapter will not hurt. But make sure that every day you read something from the Word of God. Now, I want to pray for you so that the love for God's Word will come upon you. I was baptized with the love for the Word of God so many years ago and I have just been burning with a desire to know God even the more. I have a special playlist on my channel that is called Apostle Sam's Teachings. When you get on that playlist, you will see amazing teachings. I'm still building it actually. You will see amazing teachings just like this that I thought. And you are going to just enjoy the wealth, the wealth, the deep wealth of the Word of God that is resided in a man. Now, that does not happen by chance, it happens by constant meditation on the Word of God. I'll let you go with this. The Bible says God appears to a man called Joshua to give him the requisite knowledge for success in life. And this is what he says. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. He says, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. He says, For then you will make your ways prosperous, and then you will have good success. I pray in the name of Jesus, as you spend time studying the Word of God, you will make your ways prosperous. The Word of God will reveal to you the things you need to know to have good success in life. In Jesus' name, the Lord bless you, keep you, cause His face to shine on you, and be gracious to you. My God, give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. If you enjoyed this content, please give this a thumbs up, like this video, click to subscribe if you haven't, and just ring the notification bell for deep spiritual content. My name is Samuel Lee Mulombe, and remember, I'm a man of God. Shalom.